you did mention uh, potentially uh, the finance minister having to go back out to the to the debt markets, short of increasing taxes on island, which um, I know the PLP has been reluctant to do, clearly, because people are, are already struggling. I mean, what is your thought on that? I mean, again, for a small island and continuing to grow our debt and, and the impact on future generations. Since the pandemic, the, the narrative coming out of these international agencies like the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and indeed even private agencies has shifted from one of, uh, of austerity toward resilience and in fact, spending because it's, it's recognized that COVID is a game changer and whatever plans you might have had of balancing your budget, now's not the time. It will mean that our debt could well, you know, blow well past uh, three and a half billion and go towards $4 billion. And you mentioned taxes. Well, after the Second World War, that's one thing that happened. Tax rates went up considerably. And we should be prepared for increases in taxes. It, there is really no way around it. That's the only way we're going to pay back our debt. That was the case before COVID hit. And uh, the Tax Reform Commission made recommendations as to how we could go about increasing the, uh, the number of taxes. The tax burden in Bermuda is relatively low, around sort of 23%. And we can't afford to pay more tax. Now, the big question is, who should pay that tax? And arguably, it's people like me that have benefited uh, from this particular period, uh, we remote workers. Um, and so we're talking about people who can't afford, people at the, at the sort of middle to upper end, paying more, whether it be in sort of consumer taxes, whether it be a value added tax, or whether it be in terms of payroll tax or land tax. Yeah, the burden of, of paying off this debt should uh, fall disproportionately on those people uh, at their middle to upper end of the uh, income spectrum. So let's just get ready for that particular time.